the internet in the sense of who owns that stuff, but in a larger sense, who owns the internet? Thanks. First of all, um, I'd like to clarify that I was actually not yet alive when the internet was created, <laughs> but I was alive when the web was created, so I do have some perspective on that. Um, you could probably write, well, we could spend several years discussing that issue, and I know that we have a limited amount of time. But ultimately, as to who owns the internet, my answer would be that the constituents, the users, and the citizens that are a part of it are a major means of go governance. And as for the infrastructure and the technological infrastructure, there are a variety of institutions. But when it comes to controlling the internet, that's, I know, one of the topics we'll discuss, the, the users are really those that can have the potential, and also technical individuals and people that have the capacity to understand the internet. Um, I've been involved in various actions around internet legislation, and in many ways we have congressional members, and granted, I know that they're well-intentioned, but in many ways they don't understand the internet. So as to who owns and who should control it, those that are the users, those that use it on a daily basis, those that are a part of it, um, and then also those that really can have a stake in it. And Vin, what's, what's your question? And, and, and I actually am quite interested in the hardware question, is it? So everyone? let's start out by observing that the internet as a hardware system is largely owned in the private sector. But there are players, government players, and the government owns and operates pieces of the net. You and I own pieces of the net and our little Wi-Fi systems at home that are connected to probably a broadband channel. Uh, there are commercial network providers, there are not-for-profit network providers. So that's all uh, largely in the private sector or, or a mix of government, NGO, and private sector. But remember that the Internet is a layered architecture, and people and institutions operate at different layers. So when we talk about basic communications, the Internet service providers, the telephone companies, the cable companies, are the ones that operate and own the physical resources of transmission. But when we start looking at what happens after you get to the edges of the net, which is where you were talking about the little chips, then you start getting into people like us who own pieces of the edge. Mm. And then we get to the logical thing, the information that's sitting inside of the physical boxes. Now we've, we've entered into a kind of conceptual space, the thing that we call cyberspace which is not necessarily understandable as a physical thing. It's information, which is a little more ethereal. And people who try to control um, what's going on in the Internet, where traffic goes, what is said on the net, go about doing this at different layers in this structure. So the Egyptians, during the uh, insurrection there, turned off the Internet by shutting off the underlying physical communication. Mm -hmm. So the packets didn't have any medium through which... But it, it mattered that they owned the hardware. They didn't necessarily own the hardware at the edges, but they owned the hardware that was used to convey packets through the telephone oh, and okay. telecommunications And there were relatively networks. few choke points by which they could do that. It's, it, but I, yes, although even choke point is kind of a funny... I don't think about it so much as the choke point as much as it is literally the under, underlying transmission system was simply shut off. So uh, you can block the operation of the system by interfering with its physical ability to move data. Right. But you can also do what the Chinese do, for example, and others, which is to try to prevent someone from going to a particular website. To do that, you have to interfere with the information right. by, saying, by not answering the question that we just saw in the yeah, video. Yeah.